iOS 15 brings some great new features to AirPods Pro, Pro Max, as well as older AirPods and AirPods 2 model. This comes in the new AirPods update for a 400. iOS 15 AirPods features include the amazing AirPods Spatial Audio, AirPods Find My, AirPods Conversation Boost, AirPods White Noise, and increased Siri interactivity with AirPods. Let's check it out. First, if you've updated your iPhone to iOS 15 recently, your AirPods Pro should already be updated to the 4A400 update, but to double check it, go to Settings, General, then select your AirPods Pro. You should see firmware version 4A400 here. If you don't, put your AirPods and your iPhone on charge and update to iOS 15. Next, if you haven't already tried out the AirPods Spatial Audio feature, you're in for a real treat. Well, Apple likens the jump in audio experience from stereo audio to spatial audio to the jump in audio experience from mono audio to stereo audio. But I like to think of it as a jump from going from stereo audio to surround sound. And this new iOS 15 AirPod upgrade totally optimizes this feature as the beta version was quite glitchy. And it now works with most apps that play video or music. So what is spatial audio? Well, with regular stereo sound, the audio sounds like it is coming, well, from your AirPods. But what spatial audio does is it immerses you in the environment relative to your orientation to your phone, iPad, or Apple TV. It's a completely new listening experience that you're gonna love. So how does it work? Well, imagine that you're sitting at a table watching a YouTube video with spatial audio on. And as you move your head slightly or turn your head to look at a distraction to the left or right, the AirPods will pan the audio left and right, depending on how much you turn your head, so that it sounds like the audio is actually coming from the iPad itself. That is compared to stereo, when you turn your head, the audio panning remains fixed in place and doesn't actually pan. So how to turn on iOS 15 AirPods spatial audio? Well, try it out right now while watching this YouTube video. First, Pop in your AirPods, then swipe down to the control center. Then tap and hold on the AirPods volume control. Then tap spatial audio. That's all you need to do. Now move your head around to get a sense of that effect. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I was blown away when I first experienced this and I reckon once you try it out, you won't wanna go back. Now, how to turn on and customize spatial audio to be activated for audio and video or just audio. Go to settings, accessibility, AirPods, then select which option you want down the bottom here. Okay, how about iOS 15, find my AirPods? Well, it is new and improved and it is supposedly similar to finding objects with AirTags. I don't have any AirTags, just airbags in my car. I'm sure that you, like me, have misplaced the AirPods at some point for even a day or so. But previously, when you activated Find My for your AirPods, it would just give you the location of the address that you last left them. But now, when you activate Find My for your AirPods, you're given a proximity alert, as well as having a sound played on your AirPods. This gives you a much more accurate idea of where you left your AirPods. You can see on the screen here that this is the proximity alert, and I can also play a sound here so that if I've misplaced them in somewhere in my house or even dropped them under my car seat and I didn't notice, I can just listen out for them while using this proximity sensor and pressing the sound alert there. Not only that, if you misplace one of your AirPods, just one of them, you can tell FindMy to play a sound on just that one AirPod, whether it be the left or right. But you've probably got both AirPods in permanently by now, because you can't get enough of that sweet spatial audio. Another great AirPods Find My feature is that of separation alerts. And I don't mean with your loved ones. You can set that up so that when you leave your AirPods behind, say at work, the gym, or maybe even your friend's place, you'll get a notification telling you that you forgot them. You can add a safe location in here, e.g. your home, so that if you leave home without them, you won't get a notification every time, because you might not always want to take them with you. Although, why are you leaving home without them now that you've experienced spatial audio? AirPods iOS 15 introduces Conversation Boost. This is an accessibility feature for people with hearing difficulties to be able to isolate and amplify voices in front of them whilst reducing background noise. This uses the same idea as that of hearing aids that you see people wear. You might use this if, say, you're sitting in the backseat of a car when you're driving on the highway, or when there is music playing in the background and you're having a hard time hearing what someone's saying, or you're in a loud cafe. How to turn on AirPods Conversation Boost. Go to Settings, Accessibility, 
AirPods, then audio accessibility settings. Select custom audio setup. It will then put you through a bit of a sound test exercise to help optimize that feature for you. Then afterwards, you can adjust some settings to fine tune that feature. The best way to turn it on is to set up first an accessibility shortcut in the control center so that you have this icon in the control center. Then you can swipe down and tap on this icon followed by activating conversation boost here. Try it out with a friend or family member or something on YouTube, such as this video right here, which shows you how to use live text mode on iPhone iOS 15. In a moment, I'll quickly run through the last three features, but first, please support this channel by smashing out that like button below and please subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more helpful videos just like this to your inbox. Have trouble sleeping because of outside noise or someone snoring next to you? Pop in your AirPods and then turn on white noise mode to block all of that noise out. You can turn on AirPods background sounds, white noise here. You can choose from a few different ambient background sounds to suit your taste as well. iOS 15 AirPods improves on automatic switching between devices. So if you're listening to music on your phone, but then you wanna watch, say, a YouTube video, for example, this one here, which shows you how to enable FaceTime portrait mode blurred background on iPhone. As soon as you open that up on your iPad, your AirPods will intelligently connect to that instead of your phone, and vice versa when you wanna switch back to your phone. Automatic switching didn't work so great in iOS 14, but they fixed it for iOS 15 and now it works perfectly. Lastly, AirPods iOS 15 brings further interactivity with Siri. Most notably, Siri announcements and notifications, which you can customize in settings, Siri, announce notifications. So when Siri reads you a message you received or a notification, you can interact with Siri without having to say, hey Siri. But it's best if you do some trial and error with this one as it's a little bit more complicated to go through. Speaking of using Siri, watch this video next where I'll show you all the best and fastest Siri commands for AirPods, tips and tricks with short voice controls, and a lot more. I guarantee you'll learn something. Hey Siri, subscribe and watch that video. Relative to your Oreo to... Oreo, hmm, wouldn't mind one of those right now.